D-Lo for, for boxing. All right, y'all. So, you know, the buildup has begun. You know, there's a lot of back and forth on social media between Devin Haney and George Cambosos, Cambosos about a potential showdown between the two combatants, whether that be in Australia, whether that be in America, whether that be in Dubai or wherever, because I'm hearing all sorts of locations about a potential showdown. My hopes are that with all of this chatter going on behind the scenes and out in public between the, the fighters, the um, managers, promoters, um, Devin's father, uh, you know, just the, the, the whole gambit of people that are speaking out on this fight. I hope that in all of that, we get the fight. You know, I don't I don't care about, you know, the build up and the trash talk. And I feel like that's all good for the fight. But it's all a waste if we don't get the fight. So my hopes are that with all of that that's going on, that in the end, we get a fight between Devin Haney and George Camboso Jr. So we can have one champion at 135 pounds, a true undisputed champion. And they can throw away that WBC franchise championship forever. And we we can see who is king of the hill at 135 pounds and see what they do from there going forward. Um, I think I think Devin Haney is ready and willing to take the fight. I think Cambosos is ready and willing to take the fight. I just think for both people, it has to it has to make sense. Um for in certain arenas, you know, it has to make sense in certain areas for them. You know, I understand Cambosos being in a situation where he has pretty much gone to the backyard of his last two opponents and won fights, and that he wants one for his fans in Australia. Now, granted, the, the pandemic could play a part in where the fight lands, but I certainly understand Cambosos wanting to have the fight in Australia, and I, as a fan, don't have an issue with it, even if the fight shown on prime time in Australia, which puts us watching the fight at like three in the morning or something, you know, um, whatever is the best situation um, for them to, you know, maximize the potential of the fight. I also understand that Cambosos may want to use this as an opportunity to just put on a, a, a solid defense at home and then look at the Haney fight. Um, me personally, I'd rather they go straight into the Haney fight, but I wouldn't I, I wouldn't criticize the guy if he went that route, other than the fact that he's been talking about a unification versus Haney. But I also understand there are other fighters that they're talking about fighting. I even saw uh something that said that uh there was an offer made for Tank Davis and they were waiting on an answer. Now I didn't see that from Camboso's team. I saw that in one of the Facebook groups. And I didn't even really read it or anything because that was the only place I saw it. A lot of times with me, when I see something like that, I don't pay it attention the first time I see it. You know, if I see it two or three times, then I eventually, you know, say, okay, you know, it must be some substance to this story. Let me let me dive into it and see what's, what's there, especially before I come back and, and put it out myself. You know, um, as for Haney, I, I don't think there's really another fight that Haney wants right now. I think that's that's the fight he wants um, because, you know, he was pushing for the Teofimo Lopez fight that escaped him. Cambosos ended up beating Teofimo Lopez. So now it's, it's all eyes on Cambosos. And it feels like, to me as a fan watching, that that's really the only fight Devin Haney wants in this moment. And I feel like Haney is saying the right things and not putting barriers in front of the fight, you know, by saying the fight has to happen in Vegas, the fight has to happen in Oakland, the fight has to happen in the U.S. He's not saying those things. He's saying what I, as a boxing fan, want to hear is that he's willing to go where the fight makes the most sense, even if it is is, is advantageous to Cambosos. He's willing to do it. So I can respect that as a boxing fan and feel like, those are the hallmarks of a true champion that's willing to go to someone else's backyard if you have to. Camboso's done it um, and is willing to be put in a situation where it may not be most favorable to him or advantageous to him, 
but he has enough confidence and self-belief that even facing those type odds that he can get the job done if given the opportunity. So for me, I'm hopeful that these guys have a fight coming up soon. I hope that's announced next. Um, as for everything that they go back and forth on on social media, um, I'm not the type of person that's going to come over here and report, you know, that Devin Haney said Cambosos' mother has buck teeth. Uh, Camboso said Devin Haney needs to grow hair, facial hair. You know, I'm not going to come on and say stuff like that. You know, I'm not going to report on every little thing they say back and forth. On I just, you know, this just isn't my thing. But I definitely, um, you know, I definitely look forward to seeing where this all lands. I'm hoping that it's not a whole bunch of back and forth and build up. And then next thing we hear is that Cambosos is fighting someone else or Devin Haney is fighting someone else. Or we're being told, hold on, y'all wait. They're going to fight in September. They're going to have two interim bouts in between. And then we run the risk of something else happening and the belts get fragmented and we're further away from undisputed. But that's all I got on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.